Hey y'all, this is Robin with Can't Wait Smells Great, and I just wanted to share a quick vlog. Um, I've been busy today uh, with all the rain and everything. I have uh, half hair and wet hair and uh, tended to the chicky chicks and all the stuff that I needed to do outside, and so I got really soaked. And I came back in here and decided um, I needed a spot to do my vlogging that's dedicated to that in a little studio and um, so I've been working this is Shane's room and he's been gone about two years well he moved out you know um, so I've been empty nesting and I fixed a little spot there um, vlogmas of 2018 and um, you know used kind of a corner and um, so Today, I started moving around furniture and everything and put me up a little background. I hope y'all like it. Um, the little, it's got butterflies and everything. Of course, I love butterflies. Um, but in the process, I was going through a drawer that he's got, uh, well, he used to use in the little entertainment center. And it was a bug collection in there. So I had bugs and stuff and I you know, took care of those because they were dry and kind of wisping away in the wind as <laughs> so I walked with them um, and they were pinned with straight pins about like that little narrow pins but they were long and um, I left the ones that he had in the little bug board and uh, didn't realize there were extra ones I found a little uh, pouch laying uh, you know just a little little small thing laying there and I didn't see anything in it I didn't realize it had pins in it and so I went I guess to scrunch it up to throw it away and I got stuck so since I was already bleeding I had free blood <laughs> I went ahead and checked my blood ketone level and um, my blood sugar and this was probably a good two two and a half hours after I ate and um, my blood ketone level was 1.0 and my blood sugar was 111 so that was really good you know since uh you know that's about two hours after eating so that was that's my that's a good number i was proud of it so anyway um i wanted to see what you would all think about my little vlog spot of course i can change the background i'm gonna do some painting on the wall over here can't see it right there or i'm gonna hang up some wallpaper or something you know to make it um a little more permanent and um, right now I'm just using a little desk fluorescent light um, so I've got the shadows going on but um, you know I'll get my other lighting back in here and stuff and it'll be more bright but while I was in here and working too his closet wall backs up to the wall in the laundry room uh, the bathroom and laundry room area and um, way back when he was still here and in this room years ago um, the washer overflowed several times and the bathroom the toilet overflowed uh, really really bad a couple of times and we didn't I didn't think that about his closet or coming into this room you know so when it would get cleaned up in the other room, the mud room area, the wash and dryer area and stuff, you know, really didn't think about it. And so, even after he was gone, I realized in that bathroom, I'd go in there and use the bathroom. Nobody else was here. And, you know, so I cleaned it up and started using it too. And um, I would l sometimes would let my foot rest against the wall and the little it has a little cor uh, piece whatever you call it um, anyway a little piece across the bottom and when you pushed against it it was wet and you could see water coming out of it so I was like oh my gosh so I got a fan on in there to start drying things up um, but I could see a little bit of mold around the bottom of the wall um, and so that worried me and I went ahead and come in here in Shane's room not long after he left and I started cleaning up some of his clothes and stuff and I got in that closet and I started pulling out he had <laughs> he had piles of clothes in his closet I mean all the way up to the the closet rod he was terrible <laughs> throwing clothes in there and forgetting about them 
but as I started pulling those out, I probably wasn't even halfway down, and they started getting wet and wetter and wetter and wetter all the way to the floor. They were soaking wet and full started, you know, you could start smelling mold in them and stuff. So of course, all those got thrown out, but then the floor was still wet, and, you know, the mold, it was kind of on the bottom of the wall, but not bad. And so I set up a fan. That fan probably run a year, you know, just straight running, trying to dry it up through there. And so today, um, I moved some things around and opened up the closet good and looked. And on the, well, on the outside of the closet, I have mold climbing up the side. And on the inside of the closet, it's awful. Uh, there's black mold growing on the carpet. There's mold going up the wall at least halfway up the wall on the inside and on all sides of the wall. Um, you know, I'm not prepared for that kind of expense. I don't know what I'm going to do. I took bleach and sprayed, I mean, straight bleach and sprayed all over it. But um, I guess I'm going to have to start pulling up carpet and figure out how to take down walls I mean, he doesn't have to have, nobody's in here, so it doesn't have to have a closet in here. But I don't know what's going on with the flooring, subflooring underneath the carpet. And, of course, that bathroom and stuff. And then water went on in there where the furnace and everything is. And I have trouble, I've been having more trouble with allergies and I'm keeping this headache. So I don't know if that's the, the air conditioner or fan, whatever I run on it is pushing mold through the air and that may be part of what's causing my headaches and problem um so if you've dealt with it before and can help me out either message me or send me an uh email at can't wait smells great all one word gmail.com or you know comment down there i don't know um but it's pretty bad and <laughs> Of course, that's where I've set up my little studio, um, but hopefully I won't be in here long enough for it to really affect me. I mean, it's already in the house. and But anyway, y'all let me know what you think about the little area that I have fixed and forget about the mold and all that stuff. I, I hope to figure that out. Um, I'm using my little lapel mic. Um, my daughter picked it off of my Amazon wish list and sent me a gift and um, I'm hoping that you like that too um, I think it makes things a lot clearer and um, again just let me know what you think I've done a lot today I hope you enjoy this little area and I hope it uh, makes my vlogging look a little more professional <laughs> anyway I will talk to you all soon love you all